For the past few years, the demon list has been predominant within the Jomshash community. This list showcasing the hardest levels in the game has practically become part of the culture and still is to this day. However, ever since the list was created, people have been complaining about the specific placement of levels for a variety of reasons, such as experience, verifier bias, skill difference, skill sets, and greed. Because of those factors, we believe that the demon list is completely inaccurate, and never will be. To begin with, the experience that a player has in level may influence his placement opinion. The experience can be fully related to the game, as of course it can be the luck that a player gets on a level, the stress that it's causing, or mind blocks, but it can also be the conditions in which the player is beating the level. A player could be dealing with things like depression, stress outside the game, or any personal problems like family issues, breakups, etc. This goes to show that an insane amount of factors can influence your experience with a level, which can ultimately lead to an inaccurate difficulty judgment. Now, on to our next one, Verifier Bias. If you don't know what Verifier Bias is, it's a phenomenon that causes the verifier of a level to judge the quality or the difficulty of their verification differently. Of course, this is not a problem if we take a level like Crimson Planet, as it has its fair share of victors to back up its placement. However, this could be an issue if you take a look at some of the harder levels on the list, since those maps barely have any victors. It is currently happening with the three hardest levels in the game at the moment, Sakoop in Circles, Slaughterhouse, and Abyss of Darkness. Diamond, the verifier of Sakoop and Circles, claims that it should be placed at number one on the list. Space UK, the verifier of Slaughterhouse, also claims that number one spot. And to finish it off, Cursed, the verifier of Abyss of Darkness, thinks his verification should be at the top. Why? Well, we think that the prestige of verifying a hard level is enough to cause this, especially for a top one. This could all just be a coincidence, but given the fact that the three players have reacted the same way, we think it's not the case. Before we get into our next point, we did some research and it would appear that Curse does in fact believe that Abyss of Darkness is harder than Slaughterhouse. However, he thinks that Sakupin Circles is harder than Abyss of Darkness. Now you might be thinking that our section about verifier bias is completely wrong, but we can explain that with our next section, the skill difference. When we refer to skill difference, we are talking about the skill that a player has when completing a level versus another level. Let's say you complete Sonic Wave as the hardest demon, three years later you finally decide to complete the RGB by completing Erebus and Yasugarasu. They both take you a few days as you've improved a lot since Sonic Wave. So the question here is, how do you compare the difficulty of those three levels? Well it's not really possible, for levels that are relatively close on the list, there is quite literally no way to compare the difficulty of those maps given the fact that the player has improved. This can even apply over a short period of time. If a player decides to take a huge jump resulting to a massive skill boost, the player may not struggle as much while attempting levels around afterwards. This could also potentially be the explanation on why Curse Things or Sakuba Circles is underrated, since he has definitely improved over the past few months. But the truth is, we will never know because there is no reliable way to to compare levels that we're being with a skill difference. For the next segment, we wanted to get another player's input on the subject. Do you think the demon list is accurate at the moment? Um, so that question I actually think about pretty frequently. Um, so I came with the conclusion that, like, the demons list is actually, like, subjective. Like, the idea of it is subjective. There's no real way of a demons list being accurate if it's opinion-based. Because everyone has different, like, skill sets and stuff like that. Like, they're gonna find levels different difficulties. They're also, like, the luck factor and how, like, lucky you'll get with level. Like, if you die a lot at the ending, you're gonna find it a lot harder due to, like, mind blocks and stuff than if someone, like, just looked it and found it easy. So there's no real like way of a demon's list being objective, like accurate. I don't think that's possible. Okay, so in your opinion, at the moment, it's not accurate, right? Yeah, it's not accurate. <clears throat> okay, so now my next question is, do you think the demon list will ever be accurate? Well, like I said before, like since the idea of it is subjective, I feel like there's there's not ever going to be a possibility that the demons list can be objective. So, no, I don't think the list will ever be 100% accurate. Okay, and do you think it could be in any way? Um, not in its current state. I don't feel like... like the idea of the demons list is that they get a bunch of opinions for levels to place them. The most they can do is just probably 
make sure their opinions are very like valid and taken bias into account. That's the most they can do, but it'll never be accurate. Skill sets. Most people are probably already aware of this one as it's been brought up on multiple occasions. However, this is way too important for us to neglect. So as you all probably know, a lot of levels on the list require different skill sets. For example, Sonic Wave Infinity emphasizes on the wave game mode, and Rust focuses on timings. Because of how unbalanced some of the player's skill sets are, their opinions on levels that require different skill sets are far from objective and basically invalid if you think about it. This happens a lot with challenge players transitioning over to extreme demons, as challenges are often entirely carried by the wave game mode. Of course, the issue doesn't exclusively come from challenge players, since everyone has a different skill set, and nobody is perfectly balanced. Finally, the inaccuracy of the demon list can be explained by greed. Before we get into the justification for this argument, we want to clarify specifically what we mean by greed. Basically, if a player completes level, they can decide to call it underrated as an attempt to get it moved up. But why would they want to get it moved up? This is not so obvious as everyone plays for different reasons. Some players focus on getting higher on the stats viewer, while others will attempt to beat the highest ranked level they can. If you're playing the game in a more competitive way, it's likely that you are or have been greedy at some point, but you are not necessarily to blame for that. It's simply part of human nature. Getting a level moved up will give you more list points, which results to getting a higher rank and making a completion seem like a better achievement in your eyes or even in the eyes of others. There are plenty of examples of players calling a level underrated despite even touching levels in that range. Now that we've presented all of our arguments, we want to make a simulation of how a level placement change would work considering every factor that can affect the player's opinions. So let's use Plasma Pulse Finale for this. BPF currently has 136 victors, and as a list moderator, I will probably get about half of the victors' opinions because of some of the players being inactive, unreachable, or shit up gone from the community. Out of the 68 players I ask, I need to look at each of the experiences that they had with the map, and out of all of them, 8 have had way too unusual experiences to be reliable, down to 60. Out of those players, half of them completed the level way too long ago, meaning they can't compare it with anything else due to inaccuracy. Now that this is out of the way, we have to worry about skill sets. Looking at the players calling PPF underrated, it's recurrent that the players in question struggle with timing levels, and just like that, down to 20. In this group of 20 players, only 5 of them have a semi-balanced skill set, but they unfortunately don't have enough experience with the levels around it to give an accurate opinion. So in conclusion, nothing can be done. You might think that this is an exaggeration, but it really isn't. This whole process that would have to be done with the 150 levels on the list would take endless hours of non-stop work just to end with disappointing results. So that's our views on the inaccuracy of the demon list. Remember that the list team is not to blame for this, and we clearly showed why. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have technology calculating the difficulty, but until then, the list will never be accurate. <laughs>